Welcome to RuralVacantLand.com. I've got a property, another property in San Bernardino County, California. This one is 5.11 acres, and I titled it Drive Up Power Line Great Weather. So let's take a look at this property. It's on my website, RuralVacantLand.com, and you can buy it now if you want to go for it. I mean, please feel free to go take a look at it. Let me know if I can help, but if you want to go for it, uh, you don't have to wait for me to get back to you. I can't keep up with all the calls and emails and everything. You just check out online. I'll do all the paperwork and get the thing into your name. And um, GPS coordinates are on here to go take a look at it. Looks like last year's property taxes are 136 bucks. And um, yeah, let's take a look at this thing. So I'm pulling up on Google Maps by clicking at that link on my website. I'll put a link below in the description of this video so you can do the same and play with the maps. And um, so here we are. Let me zoom out. We're in Southern California. San Diego, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Phoenix. We're kind of in the middle of them all. About 150 miles or so from Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles. It's the closest. Um, so we zoom in. You've got Palm Springs down here, maybe an hour's drive or so. You've got Joshua Tree National Park. It's a beautiful park in between here and Palm Springs. you got Big Bear up here. you got Mount San Jacinto over here. You can take the cable car up here walk and hike in the woods and see the snow and, and play in the mountains and go skiing and this nature 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 all kinds of nature trees lakes streams beautiful alpine scenery and then go down the hill and uh, live in a lot warmer place so in between there you've got Yucca Valley which has Walmart Home Depot you know the big box supplies kinds of places you got 29 Palms it's a little bit smaller um, there you've got uh, grocery stores and gas stations and restaurants and that kind of stuff and so that'd be your your local neighborhood and shooting out Amboy Road um, north on uh, what's the name of this one Barbara Lane to so Amboy out to Barbara Lane Barbara Lane north and to the property and this property sits right on the edge of Barbara Lane so you don't have to cross anybody's property or anything to get there. And it runs along the Barbara Lane. So it looks like your neighbor's got a driveway there at the bottom of your property. I'll call that person back later. Um, so neighbor's got a drive or an easement or something going across. I don't know if they have an easement or not, but they're driving across the bottom of your property and there's power lines right there. They've got power lines, power lines, power lines, there's power lines all along all around the area. Let's go back to the property line. So this this would be the south um, western corner over here and then the northeastern corner sorry northwestern corner would be up here. Just the power line over there. So it's a big chunk of land. So this would be 330 feet this way from Barbara Lane going west and then from kind of this driveway or just south of this driveway it's 660 feet going north, and that's your 5 acre. Well, let me take that back. This is 5.11 acres, so it would be 330 by 660 if it was 5 acres square, but the 0 .11, maybe that's the driveway stuff. Or it's a fat 5 acres. It looks like there's a wash here in the north. Might be a good spot to do some water catchment systems. When it rains, you collect water and get some tanks and get water for the year. And this is where this is where you could set up. I mean, these guys have been doing it. These guys have done it. Those guys have done it. You know, there's a bunch of people in the area that have built and lived here for a while, and they figured out how to do it. There are all the rules and regulations and power, water, all those kinds of issues that come up. There's a fire station, and that's the property. That's the five acres. So I've been looking at the market in this area, 29 Palms area. The cheapest five acres that's out there that's not one of mine is 5,000 bucks. Um, this one, it's right on a nice road. Looks like really simple, easy access. I'm asking $4,499. Just a clean property, ready to go. Doesn't look like anybody's ever used it. You can drive up with a power line. That's that's some sweet ingredients. So I mean, the cheapest in the area is three thousand bucks for one acre, 
35 for 0.63. I mean, these, there's a bunch of properties for sale in the area, but five acres for 4,499, you can drive right up to with a power line. That's, I think, a pretty sweet deal. I think that's what this one sticks out of the crowd by. So let's look at some other maps. There's the five acres again. Um, yeah, it's looking like this driveway is on the south side of the property. So you got access in the south, access on the east. So two sides access and a power line crossing the south. There's probably a transformer like on this power pole somewhere. Maybe this one. Doesn't look like it, but I'm not sure which power pole you get to tap into. Maybe there's a transformer on one of these. It might be a transformer. Either way, I think it's going to be easy to tap into power. So, back to my website, ruralvacantland.com. I'll put the link below in the description. You can click the Buy It Now, fill out the information. I'll do all the paperwork, pay the fees to get the thing transferred into your name. You can put it on a credit card or debit card. And in the meantime, feel free to go out there, take a look at it, and um, make sure it's the right property for you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. It's Luke Smith. RuralVacantLand.com